Hello and welcome to this quick video where we're going to take a look at the track delay which is an often overlooked feature of Cubase's Inspector and allows us, as the name suggests, to uh, delay a track but we're going to use it with a negative delay for reasons that will become clear in a second. So why would we do this? Well, often with sounds like this. So here I've got a string sound and it's got a bit of an attack time on it. It's not a huge attack time but it's enough that when we play it and we're playing in time with drums etc it's fairly natural to compensate for that attack time and play the notes a bit early. So I'm just going to record so you can see what I'm talking about and then we'll look at how you can fix this and make life easier as far as your editing is concerned. So there's our simple chord progression played along to dead straight bass drum to make it really obvious what's happening. And as you can probably already see, and certainly you can see as soon as you open it up in the editor, what's happened is I've naturally played the notes a bit early before the beat just to compensate for that attack. Now, on its own, that doesn't really matter too much because that won't really be a problem. But as soon as you start needing to do any editing, or if you want to move this part onto a sound which doesn't have a long attack, then you run into a problem and that problem will be that these will these will be out of time if we were to put this on a piano or anything else like that it would be a problem but also if we want to start editing it if we want to start moving these around we need to compensate for that in the same way that the player has so if we wanted to draw in a new chord at bar 10 if we penciled it in here it would be in the wrong place that will happen a bit late so then you'd need to move it forward by a 16th etc it can soon get fairly tedious but there is a way to compensate for it. And that is in the inspector. So back on our track, we can see in the top section of the inspector, just below volume and pan, we've got track delay. And track delay allows us to, as its name suggests, delay the track, but we're gonna delay it in a negative way. So it's gonna get played earlier than it normally would be. And that allows us to get rid of this problem. So if we take a look here, we can see there I'm about half a sixteenth about a 30 second here I'm a sixteenth there around that so going over the average we'll say it's a sixteenth now you can work out how long this is you can do it by trial and error or you can just try and work it out fairly easily so let's assume that it's a sixteenth now we can use a calculator to work out how many milliseconds that would equate to so with the nice simple calculator here there are 60,000 milliseconds in a minute Okay, so 60,000 because there's 60 seconds and there's a thousand milliseconds in each second. Okay, we can divide by our tempo. So in this case, we'll divide it by the tempo, which is 120. So we we'll divide by 120 and there's 500. So every beat is 500 milliseconds long. And to find a 16th, all we need to do is divide that by 16. So we divide by 16, 31 so 31 milliseconds is a 16th and that's going to account for my pre-playing of those chords so what we can do now is i can zoom out i'm going to quantize these into quarters and you see they all move to the beat etc i'm also going to quantize the ends move those so now we have it played really really legato and now I'm going to put that timing in. So again, we click back on the track to get the track inspector rather than the sort of editing inspector for the part we were editing. And then here I'm going to put in minus 31. So there's our timing. And now when we play it, it'll be consistent. But importantly now, we can use all our normal editing tools. We don't have to keep compensating going, oh, it was a 16th earlier or a 32nd or, or whatever like that. But also if we move this part to a sound which doesn't have a long attack, it's going to play in time perfectly. And that's the first way of using the track delay. 